Hi guys, Ben here, and there we have it. Liverpool back to winning ways in the league after a 3-0 victory over Huddersfield Town. Pure relief more than anything else. I mean, yes, I'm very pleased with three points in the second half performance, but it's more relief than delight. Um, and as I, as I just tweeted, we can't let that paper over the cracks. The first half was horrible to watch. So typical of us so far this season. Just no real plan. No, never really looked like breaking them down. Even the penalty save you, you saw coming. Um, and it looked like it was going to be one of those afternoons. But we get a bit of fortune in the second half. Their defender makes a big cock up. Sturridge with a lovely finish. And then it's kind of cruise control from there. We, we, we score you know, ahead of him a corner with Firmino, which is quite a cheap goal for Huddersfield to concede. And then Van Adam scores a lovely strike to make it 3 0. And it's a, a comfortable afternoon in the end, but uh, God, what a frustrating first half. It wasn't, wasn't pretty at all. And it, ha it has become a pattern. Uh, the Burnley game is very similar. And I think we're going to see that a lot this season, when, especially when we have injuries. There's a bit of a lack of quality there, a bit of a lack of ideas, a bit of a lack of movement and, and, and pace at times. And uh, that, that, that really showed in the first half. We really didn't look like breaking them down. We were out, out of ideas. I was just sick of seeing Ragnar Clavin on the ball all the time. I was sick of seeing Henderson, you know, trying to force it. But he had a great second half, Jordan Henderson. And we've won. We've won. We've, we've won a game that we should win. 3 0 was a lovely, lovely result at home to Huddersfield. And uh, we go to Maribor now. You know, we should, we should, we should brush down the side too. Then we go to West Ham, but which isn't going to be easy. They, they've put together a couple of good wins themselves. So look, it's not going to be easy to put together a run. We, we never seem to be able to put together a run, but we have to now if we're going to be clinging on to the top four or you know any of the sides above us. If we want to be eyeing them, hunting them down, we need to be putting together a run. Uh, and this is a good place to start. A lovely three 0 win. Player ratings now for defence is very hard to rate. I mean, Mignolet. I mean. May as well have played Karras today. I mean, they had nothing to do. Probably exactly what he needed, really. I don't think I just felt had a single shot, but uh, bar a free kick, maybe one or two others. But I mean, I, I'll give Mini there six just because it's, it's average. Gomez, I thought, played pretty well going forward and defensively. I'll give him a seven. I was impressed with him. Uh, Matip uh, carried the ball up quite well. He should score from the corner. He, he, he's got a dreadful accuracy from three headers, which is frustrating. But he gets a seven. Clavin six. Uh, Moreno. Seven got forward nicely, always an outlet. Um, you know, fair play to him, solid performance again. Henderson gave me two halves very much, but his passing range in the second half was marvellous. Um, that, that long ball over for Mino was just wonderful. He got his act together in the second half, he wasn't trying to force it. Once, once we got the, the goal early in the second half, he relaxed into his game, wasn't trying to force it. Um, and yeah, it, it was nice. So I'll, I'll give him a seven. Vinaldum, it's a great goal. Uh, he wasn't really anywhere in the first half. But it's a great goal and he does pretty well in the second half overall, so he, he can have a 7-2. Uh, James Milner, what? a guy I really like. I mean, he, he got kind of overruled at, at Spurs. He, he got overran in midfield there and outpaced by Son for the second and just kind of didn't really do an awful lot. But today he gets the assist for Firmino. Should have taken the penalty. Why was Salah on that penalty? But Milner overall, I, do you know what? He probably might, be, might have been our best player, to be honest. Um, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10, it might be generous, but I don't know, I just thought he, he was, again, finding finding space, always showing for the ball, finding little pockets of room, nice passing, nice intricate play, um, delivery from set pieces was very good, 8 out of 10, why not? Mohamed Salah struggled, missed penalty, uh, was lively for a bit in the first half, he was the only real player in the first half that kind of showed any initiative, um, had an effort that he probably should have done better with, uh, 6 out of 10. Uh, Firmino, um, Rotates with Sturridge as far as playing wide and, and central. Um, scores a goal. Do you know what? A 7 out of 10. I thought he did okay. Um, he was busier than he has been in recent games, so pretty pleased with that. And Sturridge, nothing in the first half, but as soon as he scored, which is a lovely finish, he came to life in the second. Um, he'll have a 7 out of 10 as well. It, it was a very 7 out of 10 performance on the whole. I mean, the first half it was, was drab. It's what, like, as I said, it's what we've been used to seeing. That We, we can't let ourselves slip into... A, a routine of just having these boring, boring games at Anfield against teams like this. We've got to be finding ways to break them down. It's easier said than done. I'm sure it's difficult against two banks of four or, or, or six and a four as it is at times. But we've got to do, we've got to do better. We've got to have, have, have more plans, work on, I, I don't know what we're working on in training, but we've got to, got to be doing more of that sort of stuff. I know it's hard without Coutinho and Mane who are you know, technically probably a bit better than the players we have on the pitch today. Um, you know, but we get the win. Uh, as far as the subs are concerned, Oxlade Chamberlain comes on. Uh, very typical Oxlade Chamberlain substitute appearance in the entirety. A few nice crosses, a few nice runs, 6 out of 10. Solanke just struggling to get going a bit as, as, as a senior Liverpool player. Um, so, you know, 5 out of 10 for him. And, and Emre Chan, uh, 6. You know, he, he was fine. Um, probably disappointed not to start, but 
um, probably justified in the end. I think Milner's doing absolutely fine in midfield. I've got no problem with him playing at West Ham next week. And I've got no problem with Liverpool winning 3 0 home to Huddersfield. Um, I'm pleased. I, I'm not going to get carried away. We never should because we know we're, we're always one performance away from a crisis again. Um, so, you know. It, it was two wins in ten before today, so of course to get to get a win and a clean sheet, and it's just a real comfortable afternoon in the end. And we had to be patient; we had to wait for a drab forty-five minutes. But there we have it. Milner's my man of the match. Let me know yours in the comments below and your overall thoughts on the game. We go to Maribor now at home. Um, if we see them off, we should be looking to progress in Europe. And uh, it's going to be a good Saturday night. Um, Hope you enjoyed the video guys, please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff, drop a like, share the video for me, and follow my other socials too, it's Ben Might Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook, up the reds, see you next time.